Hey, what's going on guys? So today we got a Going Gear Club. All right, so testing out this little uh, Swiss Tech. This is kind of like a Victorinox uh, clone. And I had this on my keys for a little bit, but it was way too bulky. Um, I just, not a fan of it. Only because I have so much crap in my keys right now. I kind of like keeping it somewhat slim. But I will probably still carry it in the pocket. Occasionally break it out to uh, use it for testing. All right, so bag in the bag. <laughs> bag in a bag in a bag. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to cut any contents. Do a little hole. And all right, rip down the other uh, side here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm kidding. Another bag. What the heck? Good packaging. We have bag exception here. All right, so we have the Going Gear Club bag, and then a separate, what is this? Ooh, Ace Beam. This is a Terminator M2. That sounds really interesting. Multi-light sources, EDC flashlight, throw flood signal, and rainbow. Oh, so this is like a fat, wide flashlight. You know, I dig all the weird stuff. Honestly, like I like a traditional flashlight. You know, a little tube makes light, whatever. But, you know, after you have literally hundreds and hundreds of them, you start to appreciate the weird stuff. You know, little outside the box type things. Okay. There's our sticker, which I think we didn't have a decal last month. But I'm not uh, short of going gear decals. <laughs> so, anyway, so decal. Put this guy away for a second. We have a Kaiser knife, looks like. There's our paperwork. Very cool. Leather is just going to be some kind of a minimalist wallet, maybe? Let's see. Crest Bend, Creek Bend. Creek Bend, Leathercraft, Atlanta, Georgia. Authentic handmade. Ooh, very nice. I wonder if I can probably, I was gonna say throw two Zippos in there, but the thing is like you look at it and you go, wow, yeah, I could put something this big, but you can't obviously, because as you push this up, the interior gets smaller, but who knows? We'll see in a second what that's for. Then we have a little keeper, which is very cool. I actually broke out my Max Edition one not too long ago and used that again. And we have a Saviti knife. All right, so let's put the paperwork off to the side. And what do we want to look at first? Let's look at the Saviti. And we need our knife again. That's what we need to open our knives, more knives, right? All right. So what do we have here? Big fan of all the Saviti knives. Let's see, we have a Storm Howl. I definitely don't have a Storm Howl. Nitro V for a blade, satin finish, black stone wash. Okay, milled black handle. Sounds interesting. I don't think I know what shape this is offhand either. So, or well, stickers and paperwork and whatnot. Wow, this one looks pretty cool. Again, totally different. Ooh, I like this a lot. So, this is aluminum. And it looks like it's a black aluminum, but there's cuts in it, so it exposes the, you know, the actual just bare aluminum. Button lock flipper. All right, cool little handle shape. Two-tone, which obviously continues on the blade. That's uh, kind of cool, something different. Rounded off, we have Jimpy on the back, which is purposeful. Very ergonomic handle, by the way. This reminds me of a Piranha knives uh, knife from way back in the day. I don't know if you guys can remember the, uh, you know what, no, not Piranha, I'm sorry, it was a Paragon, Paragon knives. <clears throat> totally different blade shape, but that handle, that big swell in the middle like that, it's very similar. In a lot of ways, but you know, when you you know know a bunch of different knives and spend years looking at them, eventually what happens? One knife looks like another knife. Nothing new, but very cool. And Nitro V for a blade. All right, sweet little uh, button lock flipper. I dig it. I tell you, Savivi is killing it in the uh, you know sub hundred dollar knife game. All right, so let's see what's in this Kaiser pouch. This feels pretty light, lightweight. I do like the pouch itself. 
And it's so lightweight because it's not a knife. <laughs> this is, that's a little patch on the front. This is a Kaiser brand. It looks like knife roll. Right, am I right? Yes, I am. That's pretty cool. Totally thought it was a Kaiser knife. I'm like, oh, it's an interesting new packaging. No, it's just the, uh, the knife roll. So this uh, holds, looks like six medium sized knives, two smaller knives, like something like this, even though it's not made by Kaiser. All right, so actually, does this, yeah, all right, so the back pockets go all the way down through, and then these are half pockets. All right, so let's just say three large Kaiser knives, maybe some smaller stuff in the front. All right, I'm not sure exactly what you put in here. Maybe one of their, you know, multi-tools or something, little keychain tools. Yeah, pretty cool, though. And you, don't, you don't necessarily have to use this for Kaiser. It's kind of nice to give you a patch, because now it's just a... A regular pouch you could put anything in here you could put lighters in here whatever and you have the option to put a patch on the front so i actually really really like that a lot as opposed to like the i have a saviti um holder we got not too long ago <clears throat> and that's actually just you know like um there's a logos on the front of the bag there's nothing you can do about it it's always going to say saviti regardless of whatever you put in it that's kind of cool i like that a lot all right so we're gonna look at the paperwork to see what this is first and then i'll come back and we'll check out this light all right, so let's see. Let's see what this paperwork says. All right, so the standard box would have the uh, Civivi, the Storm Howl, all right, the Kaiser knife roll, and the uh, EDC keychain clip, which is this, which is like a keeper. Now, if you haven't seen these before, these go on your belt, all right, so this way you can just hang your keys real quick with this carabiner. It's actually super, super convenient. It doesn't always have to be your keys. That's just the, the go-to I've always used it for. You can have anything else. I mean, the imagination is the only limitation there. Um, you can get different pouches that have the eyelets. You can hang off your little EDC organizer pouch if you wanted to, if it happens to have a lanyard hole on it. I mean, like I said, the sky's the limit with that kind of stuff. But then the premium box, you'd also get the leather craft, which I'm going to say, oh, it is a wallet. All right. So let's see. Locally handmade full grain leather wallet with super thin profile. Your chiropractor will approve. Definitely. I have the George Costanza wallet. You guys know that, and that's fine. If I get, you know, a spine issue when I'm 60 because of it, then so be it. Um, so, yeah, they have, a, they have a QR code for 25% off. That's cool. So maybe you can scan that through your screen. Um, yeah, and then the light is the Ace Beam Terminator M2. The Ace Beam Terminator M2 might be the ultimate EDC flashlight. It has spotlight, floodlight. And auxiliary light capabilities features uh, advanced modes like seven color automatic cycle and red SOS powered by a rechargeable 18650 USB-C battery. Uh, with this compact design, waterproof construction and versatile lighting options, the Terminator M2 is ready for your EDC needs. Yes, it's cool to have the options. Uh, it is, it's a chunky boy, you know, so um, that might be an issue for some people for weight because it's got a little chunk to it for sure. Yeah, let's check this out. I do like different form factors. You know, I've had pen style lights, regular lights, big, small, square, you name it. Some accessories in there. Yeah, so this thing is cool, but it's definitely like a chunk. Like when you say EDC flashlight, I don't necessarily... <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Wow, I never saw that before. We have like a... We have an LED way at the bottom of there, but then like a tube with a lens on it. Almost looks like a little binocular. Um, let's read this. I was going to throw this on the table, but it's there for a reason. We've got the big caution sign. It says, before first use, please remove the insulating film. Avoid affecting high performance uh, output. Please tear off the protective film on the glass lens. Okay. Is there a film in there? I don't feel it. Maybe this one's missing it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out. All right. Uh, please fully charge the battery. Uh, with the lamp switched on, quick double click to switch turbo. Okay. The light will uh, accumulate a lot of heat when used on turbo. Sure. And it'll automatically step down, it says. All right. So, let's see. So we have floodlight. We have a physical switch. Floodlight and spotlight. That's interesting. Look at that. I don't know if I should do a separate video on this guy. Seems like there's a lot going on. All right. So, where's our switch? Looks like this is going to be our spot. And this will be our flood. All right. So this is our switch on the back here. It does seem like, oh wait, do I have to take out some kind of stopper on the battery? Yes, I do. There we go. So it doesn't turn on in transit or storage. All right. So we have a 3100 milliamp hour, 18650. 
that guy in there. It is funky. We've got the pocket clip in the middle. All right. So, let's see. Low medium high, double click for turbo. That is quite bright. Let's see, let's see what's on for a second while I'm looking at the specs here. Um, actually, doesn't, does it say? Doesn't say in the box. This is a neutral, oh yeah, 2000 lumens. It shows the neutral version to be 2000, but the cool white to be 3200 lumens. That's interesting. Okay. This looks like cool white, but the check marks on the other one actually doesn't, doesn't feel well. Yeah, all right, there's definitely some heat there. It's pumping out some energy. Ooh, fascinating. All right, so spotlight. And obviously we have that very focused because the LED is like way down here and we have that that um, little lens. So that that's interesting. Oh, damn. You can't see it because it's off camera, obviously, but... That is throwing an exact circle of light. Like that definitely has some throw to it. Very precise. All right, switch over. And literally switches from one side to the other. That's very cool. Okay, so I'm looking for the switch. I forgot it's on the back. All right, so now what about the color LEDs? Hmm, this rotate? No, doesn't rotate. All right, let's double click then. Double click. Triple click, four, okay, flashing, five, new, if I hold it in, no, turn it on, it is kind of awkward, you know, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to hold this, I guess that makes the most sense, like a reverse grip like this, uh, alright, let's look at the instructions right quick, let's see, there's warranty, the accessories you got too. Right. So English. There's all the specs. You guys want to check out the specs? I know plenty of you like the specs. Okay. So operation on off. Okay, we got that. Output selection. We got that. Uh, turbo. We got that. Flood and spotlight. Same time. Ooh, and the unlock quickly, triple click the tail switch without memory. Triple click, that was the, that was both? That is both. Okay. That's cool. Oh yeah. The big old donut on the wall. So we got that, the flood and the spill. Magnetic control switch. When the light is on, toggle, toggle the magnetic control switch up and down. Okay, that was the side switch. So it's just magnetic in there. All right. Unlock lock, I don't care. I'm just curious about the colors. So let me go back. Maybe it was just regular cycling. When flood load, uh, when flood's on, press and hold the tail switch. Flood light will cycle through low, medium, high. Release the switch to select the output, and then you, you can do the memory. Hmm, turbo, flood light, same time, blah, blah, blah. Am I missing something? Oh, seven color automatic cycle. The flashlight is off. Press and hold the tail switch for one second. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay. So these three, then I just tap to cycle through. New. All right, so it's off. I'm just holding it the whole time. I'm not sure if I locked something or not. Yeah, I think I locked it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now I gotta figure out the lock. Alrighty. Um, lockout. When light's off, press and hold for three seconds. That's what I did. All right. Uh, to unlock, when the light is locked, press and hold for three seconds. Oh, okay. One, two, three. A little more than three seconds, but there we go. We're unlocked. So I guess this, I don't know. I don't know how to cycle through. I didn't push and hold, right? Single just shut it off. So let's see. Oh, there we go. Interesting. So it's literally just cycling through the colors right now. <clears throat> what it is, is it's during the day, so it's not that bright. I don't know, maybe I just tap it to select one. Let's wait until it's red. Got like an aqua blue, dark blue, 
like pink purple. Alright, so just clicked it once and now it shut off. Long press. No, maybe that's the mode. I don't know what you would do with that. A slight party mode? I don't know. Maybe I have to play with it a little more, but anyway, there we go. There's colors. So, that's it for now. I will have to investigate off camera. But yeah, very, very cool. Now, as far as this wallet goes, it makes sense. I mean, these are obviously credit card sized, right? But, yeah, okay. So there you go. You got credit cards on both sides, and then you have your main pocket here, I guess, for your bills. Now, obviously, it's not the length for US bills, so you'd probably have to fold them in half, which is a little awkward, I guess. You know, I, I like either, like, obviously this would be a little longer, so you can have a straight bill. So just, you know, put a whole stack in there and take them out. But it's not the end of the world to just be able to fold them in half, and obviously you can utilize this any way you want. But, yeah, it's pretty cool, though. It is nice leather. It smells good. It smells good. Looks like stitching is uh, done very well. Pretty cool. I'll have to check out the website. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Creek Bend Leatherworks out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So... I'll check it out online. I'll see if they have a suggestion, you know, on how to use this. But that's my my guess. Credit cards in the front, bills, you know, folded up in the back. So that's pretty much it. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. Let me know if you like funky lights like this. You know, what I mean, like these, they're such a novelty factor. It's cool because it's different. This would not be an EDC light for me. This would be a very cool vehicle light. I like stuff like that uh, for the vehicles for different options. This would be like maybe a workshop light. You might have this, uh, you know, a garage, garage style light uh, just to keep on your, your workbench or something. Um, you know, but like for EDC, yeah, it has a pocket clip. It's not that bad. Now, you guys know I carry a ton of crap, right? But I already carry a bunch of weight. I don't want a really heavy flashlight like this. If I were having, you know, a specific situation where... I don't even know. I can't even think of a situation where I'd want this like in my pocket. It's cool. It's definitely cool. Don't get me wrong. And I do love the the different specific options there, which is definitely interesting and unique. But it, it's it's chunky. It's heavy. You know, I don't know the weight offhand. It's probably in the specs there somewhere. Um, but yeah, with the battery in there, it, it's it's a little hunk of metal. You know, if you don't carry a whole bunch of stuff, like let's say you do prioritize your flashlight, like you have your keys, your cell phone, your wallet, whatever, uh, one knife and one flashlight, this might not be a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have your main knife, you know, in your, your right pocket if you're righty. And then you have your, your big, you know, flashlight, your Terminator next to it. And that's it. You're, you're cool with carrying that. That would be a scenario. You know what I mean? But I carry just so much stuff. This is just, it would, it would almost be too much. I have my limits too. Trust me. I can't carry, you know, 10, 15 pounds in my pockets. I still have to keep my pants up at my waist, right? So anyway, interesting though. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.